So, uh, you know, I'll tell you a quick story this morning. Your wing commander will get mad at me, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. The car that was provided to me by the base broke down after I was at the gym this morning. Uh, so I was driving, uh, was driving around after breakfast, and I see uh, the general and uh, a major, one of his aides. They were in uh, civilians. They weren't like dressed in rank or anything, and I see him uh, pushing his car together. So my aide and I were pushing it, and two cars, two airmen pulled over and jumped out of their cars. They had no idea who we were. So it looked like they need some help. So I just parked my car, got out, help them push it. And one of them gave me a ride, and he was figuring out who I was. It's a brand new one-stripe airman that's here learning to be a crew chief on the F-22. And we got back to the house and to my quarters, and he saw the four-star plates and the four-star, you know, stuff on the door. I still didn't know he was a rank or anything at the time. He was still in civvies. He just told me to hold up. He's gonna come back and like, congrat, like, thank me. And so he comes back, shakes my hand, and he drops a coin in my hand, and then he introduces himself as a general. Uh, James Mike Holmes. And he got kind of nervous, but we were able to coin him and thank him for being an airman that would jump up and help without knowing who it was or what they were doing. And we got to teach him how to do that too, how to, you know, shake, take, salute. Oh no, I I went straight back to basic training, did the attention, put my hand out. And then they're both <laughs> laughing at me. They're like, here, let me show you how it's done. And so he uh, shakes my hand, tells me to pop salute, so I do that. And so that was one of the most fun parts of this, of this trip. <laughs> Out of nowhere too. I was just I was just coming back from breakfast. <laughs>